I'm Eric Geller. I'm in Paris, France. I'm in New York City. Rome, Italy. Berlin, Germany. Istanbul, Turkey. Edinburgh, Scotland. Budapest, Hungary. Walking around London, you might think it'd be easy to find traces of its Roman history. The reality is, hardly any evidence exists above ground. This is what urban underground exploring is all about. <laughs> is it always like this? Yes. Or is it because it's a rainy season now? No, well, it's mostly always like this. Uh, it's not that high, actually. Here we go, baby. I'll see you on the other side. That wasn't too bad. It's Saturday night in Istanbul, and this is the place to be. But when the Romans were here, they built the stadium twice this size. Now imagine deadly chariot races circling the field, the emperor and his family in the royal box, and about 100,000 screaming people just like these. This is stylish. We could form a boy band almost, couldn't we? Well, you never get mugged when you're dressed like this. Where you do where I come from. <laughs> Jenny, it doesn't exactly look like there's Roman ruins around here. Well, not that you can see here, but would you believe this road used to be where the Roman waterfront was? This spot here, so much history. Nero was here, and Virgil was here, yeah. and Augustus surely was here. And you can still see the form. Here's the arch right here. This is part of the original Cloaca Maxima, going back to the 6th century. This is the mother lode, the beginning of Rome, arguably one of the most important spaces in all of ancient Rome. Right now, I'm in one of the many tunnels that make up Budapest's metro system. But building a metro, or anything else in this city, isn't an easy task. Anytime you dig, you're bound to run into a cave, or a thermal spring or maybe even an underground hospital. So I'm told you got an apartment building to show me. Well, it's more than an apartment building. It's a little bit of everything. 1,800 years from now, people are gonna be picking up, you know, Twinkies wrappers and looking at them like this. So the, you're looking at an ancient Twinkie wrapper. Right now, I'm walking through Central Park, but 160 years ago, I would have been swimming. In the 1840s, this area held one of two colossal reservoirs at the end of New York's vast aqueduct system. The old water system has been buried by the city, but if you know where to look, you can still find it. Look at this effect, huh? Is this creepy? Scary? Huh? I'm Eric Geller. I'm in New York City. That's Times Square. And that's a uh, nasty smelling funk that's coming out of the sewers. Mmm, smells like home.